Okay, so for this project, you guys are going to be creating a Snapchat geo filter in Photoshop, okay? And I'm going to explain this quickly and then you guys will get to work. So in Google Classroom, your assignment is up and ready um, and it is called Ralston Snapchat geo filter. Um, so everything that you guys need to know is listed on here um, and a lot of this information is coming directly from the Snapchat website which I've linked below here where it says Community Filter Submission Guidelines. And if you click that, it will take you to this page. And it has pretty much the same information, um, but you're welcome to go there as well, okay? But quickly, I just want to talk through um, some of these important things. So you will be creating three of these, okay? Um, and to get started, you must have a transparent background when you open this up in Photoshop. And I'll show you how to do that, even though we should know how to do this already, okay? Um, and the size needs to be, the file size needs to be a specific size, which is 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels, okay? So if you want to, this first um, file here that says Photoshop template, you can just go ahead and download it and then open it up into Photoshop and that could be already there. But personally, I think it's just easier to open it up yourself. Um, and we'll look at that in a second, but you'll need to type in the 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels and then make sure that your background is transparent. This is just a screenshot that I included in here. I will upload this video to the Google Classroom assignment too. Um, if you want to go back and watch anything, but if you need to, if you can't remember how to do this or what size you need it, just click on this image, okay? So, um, some of the important things that you need to know. In order for these to be submitted, and we're, we're actually, I will submit every single one of these to Snapchat, and we have actually had these um, accepted before in the past, and I'll show you those in just a second. But you are going to be creating an image that somehow ties into Ralston, okay? Now, in order for Snapchat to approve this, all graphics and images must be 100% original. So if you go and you just like, you know, like toothpaste clip art, if you go in and you find that and you just pull this image into Photoshop, that's not gonna work, okay? You need to create it this yourself. So you could certainly be inspired by this image and draw out your own in Photoshop, but if you just drag it into it, it's not going to be even, they'll, they can tell that the file is copyrighted and it will not be accepted, okay? So there can also be no logos or trademarks, okay? So um, ex the only exception to this is if you were working at a college or a university and they had their logos there. Now, since we are a school, um, we cannot use the RAM logo, okay? If we did want to use the RAM logo in, like, say, Ralston Middle School or Ralston Public Schools, we would have to purchase, um, we would have to purchase the filter for that. And we're not going to be doing that because we're creating a community filter, okay? So you cannot have a the RAM logo on there. This is not a Ralston Rams geo filter. It is a community filter for Ralston, okay? Now it can have some some characteristics of Ralston Rams and I'll get to that in a little bit. You cannot have any photographs on it. You cannot have any hashtags on it. It will not be accepted. It cannot cover up the entire screen and you just have to make sure that it's relevant to the location that you guys are going to be using, okay? So I'm going to show you a couple of examples quickly, and then I'm going to show you how you can get started in Photoshop, okay? So these are some examples, um, and I just pulled these from the internet. So like here's an example of how like Austin, Texas, this um, filter can be used. So when it says it doesn't fill up all of this space, if there was, if there was a, um, like this is fine down here just in the bottom because there's space. But if you also, like up here where my mouse is, if you put it up here too, that doesn't allow you enough space for the picture. So you don't want to fill up the entire thing. Um, here's another good one. Bottom generally works better to put the filter. 
but that doesn't mean that you can't put it up at the top either. So this was one of the ones that was accepted and it was up there for quite a while, but now it's turn time that we need a new one. So this one was done by a student um, last year and you see she just had the, she created this own Ralston little design down here and it actually was up and every anybody could use it. So it was pretty cool, okay? So um, let me hop over here to Photoshop. And so I'm, I have a couple of designs here for you, but if you are creating a new one, just remember to go File, New, and then those pixel sizes need to be that 1080 by 1920. It's already in mine because I've already used it, but you gotta make sure that that background is transparent, okay? And then you would just go ahead and create and it would create that file size for you, okay? Now I wanna show you a couple of different ones. So I'm actually creating this one for somebody's wedding coming up because um, people can do it for that, which is kind of cool. But um, in here, you can see that you can use different images, okay, and these are images that I created, and you can use different fonts, different sizes. Um, and one of the reasons, I like to put a dark background behind it just when I'm testing it out so that I can see what it's gonna look like. So you can see that you can kinda see it here um, with no background behind it. But then when you, let's say if it would be a darker background, I wanna know what that looks like. So you might wanna try out using a couple of different colors to see what it would look like. So for instance, if I added in this color background, how is that gonna look if it's different, okay? But when you turn these in, you gotta make sure that there is no background, so we should be able to see that transparent grid, okay? So let me take you through some past student examples. Um, so this is the one that was created by that student. So you can see that it's very, very simple. She just used the brush tool um, to go in and do that, um, to make the dots and such. If you don't and she downloaded this font, so if you want to download a font, I know that there are a couple of students in the class that know how to upload it. If not, just look it up. It's super easy, okay? Um, then in here, this is kind of another simple one, and it's always a good idea, like I said, to add a little background to see what it looks like. Um, oops. Okay, so it's going to change. It's going to look different compared on how colorful the images or how dark the image is, okay? So those are just a couple that um, to kind of get you going. I know that both of these were using like Rams colors, but they do not have to, guys. Get really creative with it, okay? Um, when it is time to submit this, okay, what you need to do is go File, Save As, just like we normally do, and make sure that you set that as a PNG and press save, okay, and then you will turn those in. You will be creating three different ones, so do a variety of things, um, colors, designs, logos, and I'll actually, just so we have this, I'll actually create a quick video if any of you guys want to um, learn how to download your own font and add it in. I'll show you guys how to do that because it's super easy and I'll add that video in here um, into Google Classroom. I will also add this video into Google Classroom as well if you want to go back, okay? So now you have um, time to work, um, get set up, get going, and let's make some amazing filters so that I can submit them to Snapchat.